Hey gang, Jeff here with MissionMusician.com and today is part two of the series Creating Depth in Our Mix and today's kind of an interesting one, probably not one you think about too often. Uh, we use compression to level things and to tame things and to uh, change the dynamic of things and to even out things and to <laughs> change tone of things, but <clears throat> a lot of people don't think about using compression to add depth to the mix. And I'm going to give you just a couple of quick examples. I'm going to try to make this a short video, uh, which I don't, <laughs> never works out that way for me. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's start with the kick. And all I got here is a stock compressor. And just by taking a slow attack to a fast attack I can push this kick drum way back let me show you what I mean all right so that's one example uh, now, you probably wouldn't want to do this uh, with a kick unless you're doing kind of a weird intro to a song or something. Uh, so let me put this back where it was. Come on. Close enough. Uh, all right, so let's try it with a snare. Right, so that's forward. See how that pushes back? It's pretty cool, right? Uh, just by using an attack. Now I've I've really accentuated these settings so you can hear the difference. Uh, let's uh, let's see here. Let's go to a room, which is a really good example. Uh, this is a drum set recorded with room mics. Um, let's listen to it, and you'll notice how the room becomes more apparent when we uh, take the attack from slow to fast. So what we're doing is we're really killing the transient uh, because we're using a super fast attack. Um, so that it, that's just crushing the, tr the transient and making it push back in the mix. Let's listen one more time to this. So uh, I use compression like that on room sound all the time uh, to give more depth to the drums because it, it pushes that, that big sound back into the mix. Uh, and I really, really like using that uh, a lot on room mics. Uh, let's see. I want to show you how you can uh, – this is a pretty cool example – how you can push a vocal back. So let's, let's open this up. And let's listen to this. Ways. I'm singing. Da, 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 yeah. All right. So the background vocal isn't like on top of the lead vocal. It's mixed nice. But I can push it back further. Just listen to this as I change the attack. Ways. I'm singing, da, 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 yeah. So now it's sitting behind the vocal instead of right up with the vocal. Let's try it again. Ways. I'm singing, da, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
So that's kind of cool. Let's see what what's going on down here. That's how someday I someday I'd like to be here singing. So I use this trick a lot <clears throat> if I have a lot of background vocals. It keeps them consistent, but it also pushes them back, creating that depth in our mix that we're looking for. Instead of being two-dimensional, we're trying to make our mix three-dimensional. So using a compressor is a great way to do that. Um, compression is useful for so many things, but hardly anybody thinks to use it. Well, I can't say hardly anybody. Most people don't think to use it as a depth creating tool, and it really is useful for that. So give that a shot on your next mix. Uh, maybe you got a, a doubled up vocal. This is great for that. It just takes that, that double and just pushes it back just a little bit, creating some depth in our mix. So, you know, you may have the vocal up front and then the next level back. So when, when you're thinking about depth in your mix, I guess I should have explained this a little bit more in the EQ video, but we're, we're thinking of the most upfront position and then the position behind that and then the position behind that and then maybe another position behind that. So four levels from front to back. So you can use compression to push something back to the second level or even the third level for that matter but give this a go on your next on your next mix just give it a try see if you uh see if you like it uh that's all i got for you today and part three of this series we will be talking about using reverb to add depth and i'll see you uh in that series or in that video sorry talk to you soon bye